I got divorced at the age of 35 and I live with my 11-year-old son. The failure of my marriage made me lose my faith in love, so I did not consider getting married again. Although it was very hard to raise my child alone, I put all my love into my son. I felt very relieved and satisfied to see him become well-behaved and obedient. In order to provide better living conditions for my son, I took two jobs and often had to work late. I knew that only through hard work could I provide a better life for my child. One day after work, I was ready to drive home. At that time, I was very tired mentally and physically. I had in mind to go back home and relax. But I had no idea that this car accident would bring about a huge change in my life. As I drove down the road, my eyelids began to feel heavy. I tried hard to stay awake, but soon I fell into a drowsy state. I suddenly lost control of my car and ran straight into a large tree on the side of the highway. I remember the car was going very fast. After hitting the tree, I hit my head on the steering wheel. I felt a sharp pain in my head and then lost consciousness. I don't know how long it took, but I suddenly found myself in a dark place. There was silence all around me and no sound. I had no idea what this place was or what I was supposed to do next. But soon, many spirits appeared around me. They were walking without a purpose, like zombies. They were dressed in ancient clothes. I wanted to get out of this darkness, but I didn't know where to go. I started shouting and tried to get help, but no one responded to me. I noticed a man on my right. Although I couldn't see his face, I felt a bit like my dead grandfather. His clothes resembled one of my grandfather's previous clothes. He was leaning on a cane and wearing a duck-tipped hat. When I was confused, he told me that I shouldn't talk to those spirits. Because they are not conscious, they just live in a dream world. They were walking like robots without any purpose. This made me very sad because they couldn't think and just wandered in the endless darkness. He also told me that although these souls looked like unconscious robots, they still had the possibility of being awakened. Suddenly a light appeared ahead. It became bigger and bigger as if it was leading me to a whole new world. I felt myself becoming more peaceful as well. I walked in the direction of the light. As I approached the light, I felt a warmth that was enveloping me. I stepped into the light and everything around me became brighter. I saw a beautiful and peaceful scene. The world was filled with love and my soul was completely cleansed and cleansed. I saw a very beautiful little beach. There were many colors that I had not seen before. The sand was very white and shimmered with a soft glow. I stepped on it so softly that it felt like I was stepping on cotton. I walked along the beach. The sea breeze blew on my face and I could smell the fresh air. The waves lapped against the shore and made a crisp sound which made me feel very relaxed. I also saw some peculiar animals. They were running freely on the beach and seemed to welcome me. I walked along the coastline for a while and saw a beautiful garden. The flowers here were different from those on earth, and these were much more colorful. Some of the shapes were very strange and I had never seen such flowers before. The wings of the butterflies were also colorful, adding infinite life to this garden. I continued along the garden and came to a small house. The architecture here was completely different from what I had ever seen. It was made of some crystals and looked very mysterious. I saw a very gentle old man with a smile on his face. He greeted me and then invited me to enter his house. The inside of the house was very spacious and comfortable. I saw a very beautiful painting hanging on the wall. 
The old man told me that he had painted this picture himself. He likes to use his brush to express his understanding and feelings about the world. I talked with the old man for a long time and he told me many things that I had never heard before. He told me that this world has not only everything on earth, but also more mysterious and beautiful things. I can find the answer if I feel it with my heart. The old man pointed to a distant building and told me, I know you have a lot of doubts inside, and that place can give you the answers you want. I said goodbye to the old man and walked towards the tallest building. I was filled with curiosity and anticipation. After getting closer, I realized that it was not an ordinary building, but a magnificent castle. It was built of diamonds and crystals. The walls of the castle were inlaid with gems of various colors, each one emitting a brilliant light. I walked into the castle, where the walls were decorated with various fantastical paintings. I gradually walked to the center of the castle, and a huge crystal ball appeared in front of me. The sight in the crystal ball shook me to my core. A slice of my life was playing on it. At first it played very quickly, and then it was slower. Some of them were things I had completely forgotten about. It felt like watching one of my own movies. Some of the memories brought me joy, while others made me feel remorse. All of this has helped me to understand myself better. Here, I am not judged or punished by God or anyone else. Instead, I need to judge myself which is a form of self-reflection and upliftment. I realized that I had wasted a lot of time on earth. I realized that the meaning of life is not just to find my own happiness, but to contribute more to others. Suddenly, many people dressed in white robes appeared before my eyes. I saw a group of people in white robes approaching me. They carried an air of holiness. There was nothing ornate about them, but they gave me an elegant and dignified feeling. The one in the forefront had a more dazzling glow around him. His robe was more beautiful than the others. I noticed that he had a golden cross hanging on his chest, and around the cross was a shining circle. I knew this man was Jesus. At the end of the procession was my dead father who was also wearing a white robe. I was happy to see my father here, but also felt a little confused. I asked him, Father, why are you here? Have you been living here since you died? My father replied, Yes, son. This is our real home and the last place for all of us. I was surprised to hear that, because I had always thought of death as an end, but now it didn't seem that way. My father then said to me, Your time has not yet come, you must go back, your son still needs your care. But don't worry, we will always be by your side to watch over you. Jesus stood in front of me and touched my head with his hand. He said to me, Don't worry, I know what you are going through. I know your marriage is not happy and it is very hard to take care of your son alone. I promise everything will be fine. Remember, you are never alone, and I and others will always be there for you. Then Jesus showed me some images. My son and I live in a beautiful town. We live in our own house, which is a beautiful little cottage. I saw that my son had grown up a lot and become very smart. His smile was very similar to my father's and it touched me very much. Suddenly, a man came out of the room. He was wearing a white shirt and jeans, and he looked very confident. I realized that this could be my future husband. We were traveling together and we spent a lot of good times together. He was always patient and took care of me and my son. I also saw another image. He was always by my side when I was lying in bed after I got sick. He prepared food carefully and made me feel very warm. 
He was always by my side, constantly encouraging me. He told me that he would always be by my side, no matter what happened. I kind of couldn't believe what I was seeing in front of me, could this really be happening to me? Jesus seemed to see my doubts. He said to me, my child, I know you have been hurt before. But you must learn to be brave enough to love and accept these beautiful things. Life is a journey. Full of challenges and difficulties. But these difficulties will make us more mature. We need to open our arms in order to receive more love and happiness. After hearing Jesus' words, it was as if a light penetrated my heart and made me feel more determined and brave. Even though there will be many difficulties on the road ahead, I must be brave enough to meet the challenges and pursue the happiness I want. At the end, my father came over and gave me a hug. I could feel his love. He told me to take good care of my son. I nodded my head. Finally, Jesus smiled at me and said goodbye, then disappeared into the light. I slowly opened my eyes and found myself lying in a hospital bed. I felt a little weak physically, but very peaceful and warm inside. I realized that this amazing experience was not just a dream, but real. I felt overwhelmed with gratitude and happiness because I knew I was no longer alone and that Jesus and my Father were always by my side. As I slowly opened my eyes, I saw my son. His eyes were filled with worry and anxiety. I felt his hand holding mine tightly, as if he was protecting me. It made me feel incredibly warm and comforted. Mom, you're finally awake. He shouted, with an emotion in his voice. I nodded hard and tried to sit up, but my head still felt a little dizzy. Don't move around, Mom, you just went through a car accident, and the doctor said you had a mild concussion. He gently massaged my shoulders as he told me in a gentle voice. I looked at my son's face and my mood suddenly became overwhelmingly calm and happy. I had a loving son and the blessing of Jesus and my father, and everything was going to be better, 